Blessed and happy Sunday to all of you, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, my dear good people of God, faithful followers of the Daily Gospel Reflection with Father Jack, my dear Kababayans. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. And this is one of uh, the most uh, difficult uh, dogma to explain. The importance of this doctrine lies in this, in this line. That we are made in the image and likeness of God. We were created in the image and the likeness of God. Therefore, the more we understand ourselves, the more we can understand God who created us. Trinity, it is a dogma need not to be explained but to believe in because it is a mystery. And mystery cannot be explained. It is a mystery, but it's not a problem. I say it again. It is a mystery, but it's not a problem. That's why our tasks is not to understand. It's not to explain the mystery but to believe because this is the way God reveals himself. That our God is one in three persons. The Father who creates, the Son who redeems, and the Holy Spirit who sanctifies. We may not understand the how of the Trinity but I think it's very important to understand the why. Why God reveals to us this mystery. That is three in one. In my studies, you know, expert in religion tells us that People always try to be like God the worship. What I'm trying to say is this. People who worship a warrior God tends to be a warrior, you know? People who, who worship a, a God of pleasure tends to love a pleasure. People who worship a wrath God tends to be angry because you try to be you try to be you try to be like God you worship and what's the the doctrine of the blessed trinity tells us about the kind of God we worship you know what my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters let me put it in this way but i think this is also a very deep explanation that our God does not exist in isolated individualism, but in a community of relationship binded with love. That's why to profess God as a trinity is to say that God is love. And we see this love in His revealed actions. In our first reading from the book of Exodus, the full revelation of a Trinity has not been revealed. There is no mention of Trinity in the Old Testament. But we see the, the people's awareness of who God is from His action of mercy, from His action of compassion, from His action of kindness and fidelity. That He is a God of love. In our first reading for today, it tells us who God is. That He is a merciful God, that He is slow to anger, that He is rich in kindness and rich in fidelity. But dear friends, even in our second reading, Paul, Paul tells us that uh, communion is the characteristic of the Trinity. He is a God who unites rather than a God who divides. He is a God of love. He is a God of peace. That's why St. Paul is challenging us to, to mirror, 
to reflect in our life, to reflect in our relationship, the very love of the Trinity. And how? We have to put things in order. We have to encourage each other. We have to be at peace with one another. Yeah, God is all about love. Because when we live in love, we live in God. In our gospel for today, you know, it is from the very famous Bible verse, John 3, 16. Out of His love, the Father gave us His only Son. He gave us His most precious one Son to save us. And this is the meaning of love. To love means to give. Because the limit of love is to love without limit. We are encouraged to love until it hurts. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. God came to spare us from condemnation. God came not to shame, not to condemn, but to save. And my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, the challenge for us this Sunday is to spread, to tell the world of His love that we have a God who is a merciful God, a God who is slow to anger, rich in kindness, and abound in faithfulness. The Trinity is a mystery. But it's not a problem.